Hello all, how are y'all doing today? And I hope by the time this video reaches you, you all are blessed and all are in the best of spirits. Um, for all who follow me and who all who follow me other than Facebook and on YouTube and you follow me on Instagram, you will all know that I have been sick, um, that I have walking pneumonia, I had a sinus infection, I had a stomach virus. Um, right now, um, I'm up. And I have an issue that I wanted to bring to y'all and something that I wanted y'all to share and something that I, that is real and something that I wanted y'all to see. Okay. This photo that I'm about to show you, which is right here. I hope that y'all are taking that photo in and that y'all are seeing what this photo is. This photo is our president. This photo was sent to me by a friend of mine, and I saw it on Facebook. And this photo was on the Bayside um, Meadows Road at a Shell Service station. President Obama hanging. Um, I'm not sure if the Shell gas station is responsible for this, but I am sure that the Shell gas station saw this. And did nothing about it. I'm wondering where's the police? Where's the FBI? Why has this not been taken care of or investigated in any shape or form? What upsets me and what disgusts me is the fact that when Bush was in office, I remember like as you some of you all know that I served my country that I was in the military for eight years in the Navy for eight years and no one ever dared to even say anything bad about the president okay that they didn't like him or didn't feel that he should be in office or anything like that and for something like this to happen and no one's doing anything about it so I wanted to spread this message if you care about yourself if you care about your loved ones your family your children your friends and your generation, your seeds to come, you will get up and you will go and vote. Everyone can easily get up and go shopping, vote on pictures, vote for contests, press like on all kinds of things that are irrelevant, that are not important, that cannot help your life in any shape and form. You will go support these rappers and buy their albums. You will go to these concerts and pay all this money to support these rappers who cannot teach you anything. But you have a president in office who can help change your life. In any shape and form, you should be able to get up and get out and go vote. Voting is free. All you have to do is register to vote and vote. It doesn't cost you anything. You will stand in line at, at um, Black Fridays, Christmas sales, you know, all these holiday sales, all these other things, all these other events that happen. You will go do those things with no problem. You'll stand in the lines for hours. I'd be damned if I don't stand in the line for hours to vote for my president. This is wrong. We cannot make a difference if we do not all stand strong together and fight together as one to show support for our president. If you care about your life, if you care about your well-being, you need to take a stand and get up and vote. Plan a party with friends together where you all stand in line together and support each other. Support this great nation that we so love, that we live in. A lot of things are going to change. And those things can change for the worse, not for the better, but for the worse. If you do not take a stand to go out and vote. This is wrong. For us to see something like this is distasteful. It is disrespectful. And racism is alive. I have two small children. The things that I do now, today, 
is going to reflect on their lives and their children's lives. Please make a difference. Please get up and get out there and vote. As sick as I am, as much as I don't feel well, but I could get up to make this video to talk to my viewers, to my subscribers, to my friends, to my family, everyone who watches me. You either you share this video, you get up and you go out and you vote and make a difference because it's sad. What is our world coming to? Our voices can be heard, but the only way for our voices to be heard is if we work together and make a difference. With all the things that you love, it's great. For all these material things that you love, it's great. I'm happy for you. But that will not bring you peace. There's a lot of things that right now are helping you that are in place right now that can be stripped and taken away. If you do not take forth and take the step to go and vote. I'm speaking from my heart and I'm speaking for everyone out there who knows who wants help, who needs help and knows that we have our president who is in office, who's been in office for four years and has been doing everything he can to get us back to where we need to be. We want change. We want to make a difference. Please don't fail yourselves. Please don't fail your family. Please don't fail your friends. This picture should hurt you. This picture should bring some type of rage and for you to be upset and to be hurt. That president there could have been your father, your grandfather, your brother, your uncle. You never know. Make a difference and vote. You only have one life to live. Make it count and vote. God bless you all and I hope this video touches you and makes you want to vote. I will see you all on the next video. Please, please support and share this video. You saw that picture. Spread the word. Make a difference. God bless.